this is just a quick additional video in the series in which I am repairing and restoring this PDP 8M vintage computer. Uh, I wasn't going to make this video, it's just uh, in response to a comment that was made on the previous video that I posted earlier today. And it was in relation to some testing I was doing on the board before fitting it back into the uh, chassis as I have done here. And um, I didn't see the comment until after I'd reassembled this. Uh, but it was in relation to the testing I was doing and that uh, maybe I was trying to deceive you or somehow fool you. Um, no, I wasn't trying to do that. Uh, it would be fairly pointless. My goal here is to repair and restore these units, uh, not lie to people or deceive you. Um, the comment related to I would fitted a Y-Link fuse uh, in place of the real fuse and uh, left this running for an hour, um, came back, made a few comments, left it running for another hour. And the comment said that um, the fuse started glowing a few seconds after the video started, or at least a portion of the video started. Uh, and hence I must be uh, trying to deceive you by turning this off, um, waiting an hour, turning it back on, uh, and then restarting the video. Now, that would be fairly pointless. I'm trying to get this thing working properly and um, whether you believe it uh, works or not is irrelevant. I need to get this working. Um, so I thought I'd just um, explain a few additional things because it might help in future videos to explain um, various things. Now when I'm doing repairs you normally only see a very small fraction of the repair work. Uh, I don't show you all the mundane stuff uh, I don't even show you all the things that may or may not be relevant, it uh, just isn't feasible sometimes, uh, especially as I tend to work on quite a few projects at the same time. Now one of the things I have to do is, or one of the things I do, is leave things like this on test for extended periods, usually at least overnight before I put it back into a machine uh, to continue with the restoration work. Um, but the area I video in is not in my workshop, it's actually in my house and because if something like this fails it tends to release the magic smoke and especially on some equipment that can be extremely foul smelling or even toxic um, I have extractor fans in all the bays in this room and so if something's running the fans are running um, but they're fairly noisy so I turn them off when I'm videoing uh, I already get complaints that there's noise. In fact, in the previous video, someone complained there was a high-pitched whistling noise. Seemed to be um, forgetting that we're working on switch mode supplies, but um, nevertheless, um, people want to complain about all sorts of things, and they're entitled to. Um, but I do try to set up the environment as best I can. I've got special lights here I turn on that I don't normally use. Uh, they're too bright and uh, fairly hot. Um, but even so, um, I do try to minimise any uh, negative impact on the quality of the video. I'm not a professional YouTuber, so video quality is not what the uh, main priority I have. Getting things working properly is. Trying to get information across to anyone that's interested is also a priority. And fooling people is not something I'm prepared to do or would waste my time doing. To give you an idea why I turn these fans off, in fact, just so you can see what they are, if I just raise the camera, we're talking about these things. So there's one of these uh, fans, they are adjustable, I can move them around and uh, usually set them just over the equipment I'm working on, so if it does um, decide to emit anything uh, unpleasant, then um, it doesn't fill the house with smoke. Uh, I'll turn this on, uh, at least this one, so there are a number of these, I'll turn just this one on. Now, I'm not really sure if this comes across on the video or not, um, but it is quite irritating trying to talk over it here, so whether it's loud on the video or not, uh, I do turn this off. Now, I suspect what he was looking at is, although I said there wasn't a fan blowing across this, I was talking about this fan. Um, this is normally covered over and force, uh, forcefully uh, blown with air, um, so this would be covered right the way across, and then the fan blows air partly across here and some underneath the board. Um, that's the fan I was talking about. There may have been a small amount of um, airflow 
uh, going across the board and I did show that um, the fuse will uh, cool down if you blow on it um, and that's most likely what uh, he was looking at but um, as I say if you do see anything like this then by all means um, flag it up um, but no I'm not trying to uh, con or deceive anyone and that would be fairly pointless uh, my goal is to get these things working I didn't design it it's not my uh, fault if it explodes um, I'm just trying to get the thing to work um, so let's turn the fan back off so um, as I say if there's something that um, you want more information on um, such as whether there's fans running lights on the power source that's being used then uh, by all means leave a comment um, I'll try and answer them but um, if your uh, purpose for leaving a comment is just to uh, try and uh, accuse me of lying then uh, it might be best if the comment was uh, kept to yourself also just bear in mind my channel is not monetized uh, I don't get paid for making these videos I don't get paid for the repairs I don't make any charge for repairing these things um, so I've got no vested interest in uh, trying to um, fool anyone into thinking these are, are being repaired when they're not